Hello everyone, welcome back to Ease Education London and this is our GCSE English language predictions video and what I wanted to do is to go over the past paper questions and find any patterns or trends from previous years and help you predict a possible question for your English exams taking place very soon. Now before we get started, don't forget to subscribe, like and share our channel as it does help our channel grow. Uh, thank you all for your continuous support. It has truly been amazing. Uh, so do continue to share our channel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the different questions that have come up from June 2023 all the way across to, if I switch tabs or switch across, all the way down to June 2017 and see if we can find any patterns or trends. So if we start off with June 2023, what what has come up, or what did come up rather, for, you have, remember, for paper two, right, you will have two sources. Whoops, let me use the highlighter. You'll have two sources, source A and source B. So one will be a 20th century literary nonfiction, and the other will be a 19th century nonfiction. So what you'll be asked to do is obviously compare them in the exam. Now, in June 2023, it was an extract where one, it was titled One's Company by Peter Fleming and it was an extract from a travel book published in 1933 whereas Salsby was a 19th century non-fiction. It was a record of a girlhood by Fanny Campbell, an extract from a letter published in 1878. So remember, for question one, they will always choose a specific question and it will be a MCQ style question. And all you do is you select the four true statements, okay? So that's question number one. So to be honest, for question number one, I don't really want to spend too long on this question. Every year it's the same, same question. Um, you'll have options A to H and you'll be asked to shade in the four true statements. And remember, to work on this question, use cancelling out because that will help you get your answer for question number one. Sometimes they do put one or two similar statements to confuse you, but it's important you use your inference skills to read between the lines. That's question number one. And it's only worth four marks, so you should be able to work through it quite quickly. Um, so there are no specific predictions for that question. Anyways, moving on to question two, okay, which is worth eight marks. It's the comparison question where you're comparing, uh, or you're, sorry, you're summarizing source A and source B. Okay, so if you look at this question from June 2023, it was the following. The writers in source A and source B are travelling on different types of trains. Use details from both sources to write a summary of what you understand about the differences between the two trains. So I'm just going to underline that. So remember, if it's a summary, do you need to analyse language? No. Do you need to analyse structure? No. So you're literally summarizing what you've understood about the differences between source A and source B. Okay, so that's the same question every single year. Okay, now that's question two. And again, it's worth eight marks. You should probably spend around 10 minutes on this question. The next question after that is your question three, okay, which is analyzing language. So they will choose either source A or source B. It depends, okay, really. And it will always be, how does the writer use language? Okay, so as you can see, how does the writer use language? Let me just zoom in here to describe the train crash, okay? So that is for question three, and it's worth 12 marks. So you're looking to write three to four petal paragraphs, and you're analysing the effect of language. So that's question three. Question four, and by the way, if I go down, these are the previous years. So... For 2023, it was from source A. Uh, November 2022, it was from source B. And again, remember, they use the same words. How does the writer use language to describe something? So here, it was the mosquitoes and their impact. Okay? So you know, even in your exam, if we're predicting, it will definitely be, how does the writer use language to describe dot, dot, dot. Now, that's obviously depending on what the text is about. And we're going to try to see if we can spot any patterns or trends um, and that will help you prepare for that exam. Right, so that's question number three. Question number four, as it's English language paper two, 
it's, it's not evaluation, but rather comparisons, okay? So you're comparing. So if we look at the June, let's use a different color. Let's use, doo -doo -doo, let's use red. Right, hang on, where's red? Here we go. So let's say the question was compare how the writers conveyed their different feelings and perspectives about their experiences of traveling on a train. So what you need to do, you've read source say you've read source B. Compare the different feelings. Remember, the focus of this question should be on the writer's feelings. Okay, so tell us, how does it make the writer feel in source A? How does it make the writer feel in source B? And remember the perspectives as well. What is the writer's perspectives? What is the writer's viewpoints? You need to talk about this in this question. You're looking to write four paragraphs. Um, I have a template for you to use. Um, you can check this out on our YouTube channel. Um, it's a question for English language paper two. If you go through our playlist, you'll be able to find that video. Um, and this worth this is worth 12 marks, sorry, 16 marks. And you should spend around 20 minutes on this question. So that's question number four. And finally, question number five, the one of the most important questions is your writing task, your transactional writing. Whoops. Um, sorry, not your, yeah, your transactional writing or your persuasive writing, as some of you may prefer. So last year, uh, this was a prediction that I made uh, to my students, and it was correct, okay? And it's a common question that they like to use. And I'll show you why I say that. I've got evidence to back what I say. So the question was, cars are convenient, comfortable, and save time. That's the statement. However, we need to use them less by making public transport, such as trains, trams, and buses, cheaper, more reliable, and easier to access. Write a speech to be given at a meeting of your local council in which you argue your point of view on the statement. So, last year it was to write a speech. We don't know if we are going to get a speech again, or a letter, or an article. Remember, it could be a leaflet, it could be an essay. If you look at the example specification, it could be a leaflet or an essay. But the three most common ones include an article, a speech, and a letter. So this was the question from last year. And I just wanted to go through the previous years and see if we can find any patterns. Now, if I just zoom out and we can look at the themes that came up in the previous year, uh, past paper question. So let's use a different color. Um, by the way, I'm just using some random colors, but it doesn't matter. Let's use yellow, okay? Right, so last year, the theme was on transport, okay? So your your speech that you had to write was on transport. The, pre, uh, the previous paper, November 2022, was on science and sleep, and it was a letter. Um, the previous year, June 2022, it was on the theme of holidays and camping, and it was an article. The previous year before that, or June, November 2021, it was on the theme of society and article, and, and you were asked to write an article. And the previous paper before that, it was a theme of adventure, and that again too was to write an article. Um, and then if I go back, in November 2019, students were asked or were assessed on the themes of animals by writing an article. June 2019, it was the theme of traveling. Um, the previous year, it was a theme of transport, again, letter. The June 2018, it was the theme of sport. So it was an article. The previous year, or the previous series, it was the theme of education, and it was to write a speech. And the last and final one, which, which was June 2017, which was the theme of childhood, and it was to write an article. So if we have a look can we see any patterns? Let's have a look. We've got childhood, education, sport, transport, travel, um, animals. Let's see what has come up again. We've got adventure, society, holidays, uh, science, and transport. So clearly, we can see, if I just use my notes here, um, let's use black. So transport has come up recently, um, and it was on cars, okay? Uh, and you had to write a speech about cars, X, Y, Z. But also, if I go back 
uh, previously, um, if I swipe right, back in November 2018, we had a question on cars as well, as you can see. Cars are noisy, dirty, smelly, da da da. That was also um, to do with the theme of transport. So, November 2018, and if I go to June 2023, we literally had the same question. Look, if you find this question here, June 2023, it was on cars. So it reads, cars are convenient, comfortable, and save time. However, we need to use them less by making public transport, such as trains, trams, and buses cheaper, more reliable, and easier to access. Right, it's reached, dot, dot, dot. And if I go back, November 2018, cars are noisy, dirty, smelly, and downright dangerous. They should be banned from all town city centres. Write a letter, dot, dot, dot. Right, so if you see here, it's very similar. It's almost identical. So we can predict that a question, you know, it could be a speech or an article on cars is not going to come up, highly unlikely, because it's come up last year and also in November 2018. And we highly doubt that the exam board is going to recycle and reuse the same questions. Okay, so that's something for you to remember. Um, and yeah, so that's, that's a common pattern that we found. So one prediction we can make is that it's not going to be on cars, okay? And it's highly unlikely to be on the theme of transport because that came up in November 2018 and also in June 2023. Next, any other patterns we can find? I can see holidays, holidays, camp slash camping June 2022, as you can see here. Let's use a highlighter just to highlight and make it clear to you all. Let's use red. So June 2022. Um, we had the theme of holidays or camping, traveling. Holidays don't need to be far away and expensive. They just need to give people a break. Um, so by the way, let me just make some notes so you guys are following. So I'm going to, my predictions include, where can I write this? Let's write it. Uh, let's write it at the bottom. So traveling. Hang on, if I just zoom in. No, you know what? I can actually do it on a new page here. So we, we've seen that previously. What's come up? If I go back to my notes, the theme of transport has come up already. So let's make a note of theme of transport has come up. And we know that came up in June 23 and November November, November, hang on, let's have a look, transport, November 2018. So there's a high possibility that the theme of transport doesn't come up uh, because it's already come up in June 23, November 2018. Next, number one, so that's out of the way. Number two, let's say the theme of holidays slash traveling so theme of holidays slash traveling has that come up yes it has it's come up twice if i go back we can see it's come up in november 2018 no sorry june 2019 Uh, hang on, holidays, travel, if I go back actually, let's see, themes, adventure, do you know what, actually, it, it wasn't November 20, 2018, because I've realised, uh, sorry, it wasn't June 2019, because if you look at the question five, it was a letter about famous people, so, um, just ignore what I said there, but the theme of holidays and traveling came up, if I go back, uh, it came up in, first of all, June 2022, okay, so I'm going to write here, June 22, and also June 2022, and let's have a look, themes holidays, holidays, and also November 2020. November 2020, look, 
if I highlight this. Can you see I've highlighted in red June 2022 and November 2020? Look at the question in June 2020, uh, June 2022. Holidays don't need to be far away and expensive. They just need to give people a break from everyday life and the chance to relax. Write an article to express your point of view, dot, dot, dot. So it's basically asking you um, on, on the benefits of going on holiday or the drawbacks, whatever. They just need to give people a break. Um, and then in November 2020, People have become obsessed with traveling even further and faster. Can you see how it's almost identical? However, travel is expensive, dangerous, damaging, and a foolish waste of time. Um, look, can you see they've literally used the same words and all, all they've done from June 2020, sorry, June 2022, November 2020, they've just changed around the words, okay? So it's literally the same thing. People have become obsessed with traveling ever um, e um, even further and faster. However, travel is expensive, dangerous, and foolish waste of time. Um, holidays don't need to be. Look, it's literally the same question. November 2020 and June 2022. Okay, sorry, I, I've got so many dates to remember. November, sorry, let's go back. Just follow through as you'll realize there's patterns. These exam boards, they literally, you know, have this pattern. Okay, and we're trying to break that pattern and find what that is. November 2020, Nov 2020, tick. So, what's interesting, you you often see that whatever has come up in June, they like to give a similar question a few years before or a few years after. So, what that basically means, if you look at the pattern here, whatever came up a few years ago in the November paper, they may give you something similar in the June paper, just change around the words. So for example, November 2018, that came before June 2023. The question or the students who sat that paper in November 2018, um, they gave that same question in June 2023 in the summer. All they did was switch up the words and change it slightly or alter it slightly, but it's essentially the same question. Similarly, students who did it in November 2020, their GCSEs, they basically gave the same question, AQA, um, just, just on the two years after, in June 2022, in the summer. So if you see a pattern, is that the exam board like to use the November papers. I'm just going to write November papers to create the June summer papers. So my prediction or a possibility is that if you go back to the November papers from twenty, uh, from twenty twenty three to twenty twenty two to twenty twenty one, so twenty 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 one. Sorry, let's rub that out. For twenty twenty to twenty twenty one, and then to twenty twenty two, and possibly twenty twenty three. If you can work through those papers then I reckon my prediction is that you will have a very similar question come up in June 2024. That's a good prediction. And if you can, try to work through those um, because that will put you in a good position. So that's my prediction. It will be between those papers. You'll have a very identical paper. Anyways, you're not going to find a video this detail on YouTube going over the predictions and finding all the relevant um, predictions for the English uh, exams okay for GCSE um, any questions what subject is this it's English and also to those of you watching on YouTube um, just bear with me because I am on TikTok li live as well but um, yes as we were as we were discussing so that's number two now if I swipe left um, we've covered the theme of transport, the theme of holidays and traveling. Um, is it English language or literature? It's English language. We're going for the full breakdown. We're predicting what may come up. Okay, so that's that. Right. Um, also, I'm not checking all the comments, but I'll just check them later on because I'm actually focusing on this video. Um, anyways, um, so if you have a look, We've covered the theme of transport, the theme of holidays and traveling. 
X, Y, Z. Is there anything else that we can spot? Okay, so we've done the theme of holidays and traveling. Anything else? Any other patterns? Um, education. Do we have education? Has education come up? It hasn't come up in some time. So education possibility for it to come up. Childhood. Uh, no childhood. Um, travel. Do we have anything to do with travel? Um, let's have a look. Travel, 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 travel. Nope, there's nothing to do with travel. Hang on, what happened there? Let's undo. And we also have, let's see, anything else? Animals, the theme of animals. Do we have anything to do with animals? No. Okay, so that is that for our predictions. So you need to go over all those papers that I've just mentioned for November. And just to remind you, if you're wondering... What are some things that you need to revise, especially for that question five? Um, to those of you who have watched my video, you'd have heard of an acronym called MESS, okay? So let me just do that on a new page. These are the possible topics that you need to know for English language paper two, question five. And I predict it'll be in one of these themes, okay? It'll be on either money, it will either be on education, it will either be on environment, Um, it could be on self, uh, as in you, you as a person, like your lifestyle. It could be also on society. Okay, um, some some common topics, by the way, some common common topics for you to look at for question five. Just a heads up: education. I've already spoken about this. Um, you can possibly think about education. Think about healthy healthy lifestyle um, you may want to look at technology these are possible topics students that may come up in your English language exams for paper 2 technology um, the environment of course environment uh, global warming so by the way that includes global warming recycling uh, etc so these are some things that you want to look at um, so number one, number two, number three, number four. Uh, number five, like I said, is traveling and holidays. Okay, so these are some areas for you to look at. Technology, by the way, includes social media, includes, um, you know, using apps, YouTube, X, Y, Z. Anyways, so th these are our topics for you to revise. And these are our predictions that you need to go over. Please look at the November papers because there's a possibility those papers come up. I will try to do a second part to this to give you a breakdown of some of these papers as AQA do like to give a sort of question from those series of papers. Um, so that is it for this video. Um, so, so thank you very much for watching. If you did make it to the end, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. And like I said, it's a very unique video. Um, as you probably you probably won't find a detailed video like this on YouTube. Um, thank you all for your continued support um, and do subscribe, like and share as it does help our channel grow. And if you do have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And um, what we are planning to do is we are planning to go on live on TikTok more often just to help and give back um, and help you all prepare for your exams. Other than that, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share for more. Thank you.